Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a quick update video. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. Um, but I just wanted to update everybody on how I'm doing and um, how everything's been going with me um, since a lot of people have been asking. Um, so right now I am just finished my fifth round of treatment last Wednesday and I have been doing really well with that treatment. I'm just getting one drug now. Um, I was getting two infusion drugs um, every three weeks um, with the immunotherapy, um, which basically helps ramp my immune system up to attack the cancer cells, and um, which basically means that it's not chemo, so my hair is growing back, and um, I don't get any of those really bad chemo side effects where it kills the blood cells and having to stay in the hospital, so I've been so blessed and grateful for that, and um, I've basically been feeling a lot back to normal now too um, after my surgery. So my surgery was September 16th, so it's been uh, October, November, December, three months almost since I had my surgery, and I'm doing a lot better. Um, I'm basically walking back to normal now. Um, I can actually take my dogs on a walk. Um, I can walk up and down stairs. Um, I can walk pretty much normally, and it's just like amazing all all that God has done for me. I just thank Him and praise Him every single day for um, just healing me and just getting me to this point of like, you know, when you're at your lowest low, you don't ever think that you're going to get back up again. And um, and I'm just like amazed by all that God has done. Um, and uh, the only thing I've been working on now is uh, my mobility of my knee and my left knee. I'm trying to bend that more all the way. But um, I don't know, since I might have scar tissue there and everything, I don't know if I'll be able to fully get that back um, bent all the way, but it's better than nothing. I've been trying to work on doing more yoga. Um, so I'm just truly, truly just like so blessed and grateful that I'm doing so much better and I feel really good. Um, I feel like my energy's back. I feel like I actually don't have my eyes aren't sunken in anymore like they used to be. My nurse last week said that I look, my color looked better, um, which of course it probably does because my red blood cells are coming back up and um, all my labs have been stable and good. And the good thing is, is that I saw my doctor last week and um, she said that I am stable for now and then, um, which is good. And um, so I don't know, I'm just doing really well. And um, now the plan is I'm gonna be seeing um, the doctor every four weeks. And um, I will be getting a, the doctor's appointment and my labs checked, and then I'll get my one infusion of my immunotherapy, which is um, called Opdivo. Um, so that's what I'm getting right now. I do not know when I'm getting scanned next. A lot of people keep asking me when that will happen. Um, and I, I don't really know yet. And um, I'm just waiting because um, you have to wait for the, the medication to take effect and it takes a while um, so I'm not sure when that will be um, so in January that'll be my sixth treatment and then um, I'll just keep going after that so I'm continuing to pray every single day um, that this therapy works um, and I just ask for prayers as well and I appreciate all the prayers that everyone's giving um, for that and um, just to continue to pray for healing and know God has a plan and um, I appreciate all the prayers. Um, it's it's been a struggle these past um, month or two because um, I have been feeling better, and I my last video was saying how I was feeling lost um, just because I have been like, you know, feeling like okay, I feel like I'm back to normal, but I'm not really back to normal. And um, you know, before when I was really sick, it was just focusing on just feeling good. And now it's more, um, I'm start, just trying to focus on still like healing and I know that I still need time to heal and my body needs time to rest and um, just like really um, do its job and um, I also just need time to like think more spiritually and um, think about all that stuff and it's, um, I'm feeling better now than my, my last video. I know it was probably like I, I was talking about feeling lost and not really knowing my path and my journey in life, but I think that um, I'm realizing that like this is my path and my journey right now, and I'm just trying to take each day as it comes because it's really hard to not think of the future and like plan ahead and everything because um, that's so like ingrained in my mind and so many other people's minds is um, planning ahead and um, 
you know, thinking of like what you're going to do with your life and you're planning and everything when in, in fact you need to really be enjoying this present moment and what you have right now because um, that's all you have is the moment um, in the present. Um, you don't, the past is already gone. The future hasn't come yet and you don't know what the future will hold. Um, so you, all you have right now is the present. And um, if all you have is the present, is um, the good thing is to enjoy it. And um, I've been trying to practice um, meditating and thinking positive thoughts um, and turning my negative thoughts into positive thoughts. And um, although I am, I try to stay positive for the most part, you know, there's all those negative thoughts and fears and anxieties that creep in all the time. Um, and um, it is a constant reminder of me to like constantly um, you know, pray every day and get back to God and um, that really has been helping me a lot um, I think that like those are some um, constant themes that are going on is um, just fear, anxiety, and worry um, just because of like the unknown future and that's why you get those thoughts of fear, anxiety, and worry is because of um, when the future is unknown and you don't know what's going to happen and um, it could be something that um, may not be good or, or anything, you know, so it's hard, it's easy to worry, and, um, really all, all, only God knows what the future holds, and, um, I've, it, it does help me know that, like, um, he sus will sustain you, and, um, be there for you always, and always will provide for you, and, um, one thing that's been good is that, like, I've been dealing with a lot of, um, um, you know, like, when I've been going to my church services and everything, um, then they've been talking about fear and anxiety, and, um, God always says, you know, cast all your fears and anxiety onto him. Um, another thing I've been struggling with, too, is just, um, forgiveness. Um, it's easy for, to, to get, forgive other people, and, um, you know, God forgave, um, you and by sending Jesus, um, to the earth, but, um, sometimes when you do things in life, um, I know I've, been one to beat myself up about things that I've done that I'm like why did I do that or you know I can't believe that I did this thing like why did I do that um so that's something that I think that um you need to do for yourself is just um learn how to forgive yourself and I was really struggling with that a lot um recently and um one thing that I had seeked out in the bible is um you know God forgives you and um you know, everyone is going to be, everyone has sinned and done something wrong. We are all sinners. We're not, no one's perfect. Um, we're all going to do something that maybe we forget, regret. And, um, you know, we're all learning about our lives and what's good and what's bad. And, um, sometimes people make mistakes, but I think the thing to remember is that we're all human and, um, it's okay to make mistakes. Um, it's just that, you know, you have to learn from them. And, um, so basically what I was trying to say is like you cannot change the past and um, if you, um, but you can make a difference um, and forgive yourself today because then one thing I realized too was that like if you don't forgive yourself then um, you can ha um, stir up hatred or um, negativity um, and then that can be projected into others. Um, so I thought that was really interesting um, because, like, the way that you um, act and feel can affect others and how uh, other people around you. And um, I'm always wanting to help others and um, be positive for other people, but I never really thought of the fact that, like, if you're negative or can't forgive yourself for something, then that radiates um, off of you and other people can um, feel that. So um, that was really important for me to just realize and learn that um, you know, it's so easy for God to forgive, um, you of your sins, and then, um, so you need to be able to do that for yourself, and th so that way, um, you can help others heal as well, um, not only by, like, forgiving yourself, but, like, just being a positive light for others, um, and, um, one thing I read, too, is, um, you can give back some of what you have taken away, taken away by finding a different place to invest your time, so basically, if you're like constantly like ruminating on negative thoughts and negative um, processes, like if you just if you don't forgive yourself, um, then um, that can like radiate onto other people. Um, so 
if you can heal and forgive yourself, then you can start helping other forgive them, other people forgive themselves. And um, I think that's really something that's like really important to remember. Um, Cause you know, I have a lot of loved ones and people that I care about. And um, one thing I would not want to do is to hurt them by like showing them the hurt that I'm feeling. Um, and that also just doesn't do any good for you in the moment anyway because like I was saying back to like to being like when you're living in the present moment um, that's all you have so why waste that on negative thoughts and neg negative energy and I'm not saying like everyone's perfect all the time and like I'm not saying like I'm perfect all the time about being positive and everything but um, it is okay to have those feelings at times but you don't dwell on them and just um, I've been really working on um, just um, letting them come and go and then once like acknowledging them and then um, having a mantra to say you know I'm forgiven and I'm, and I am going to take the high road and think positive and then I every time I do think of something negative or try to yeah instead of dwelling on those thoughts now I just think back to God and Jesus and how I'm so grateful for so many things that I have you know like I have shelter and food and a loving family and I have all these things that um I'm so grateful for that, like, are provided to me, um, so I just think of all the great blessings that I have, and, um, one thing that I had earlier in life, um, like, well, just always had struggled with, like, I'm like, what does that mean, um, I said this in one of my other videos, like, what does that mean, Di like, Jesus died for our sins, and, um, forgave us, um, so basically, um, in the Bible, it just says, in Ephesians chapter 2, um, verse 4, um, so, because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. So God's grace is something that's so amazing. Um, he, he knows that, like, he sent Jesus here to, um, teach us, um, and he lived as, as a human, and he, he knew what it was like to be human and have temptations, but um, he was sent here to um, be a light to the world, basically, and um, help heal us of our sins. And then um, it also says, I was going to continue Ephesians um, 2, 6, And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in heaven in the realms of Jesus in order that the coming of ages might show comparable riches of his grace expects in his kindness to us in Jesus and then this is like one thing that I really like um, Ephesians 2 8 for it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not yourselves this is the gift of God um, so basically um, just showing like God's love for us and how he knows like he um, knows that we're all sinners and that but um, he sent Jesus here to um, forgive us from our sins and if you just believe in him um, then um, you will be forgiven and I know that that is something that um, may be hard to um, accept but um, if you just constantly think about that and um, his grace and love then um, it, it definitely helps like negate those negative thoughts and get those negative th thoughts and processes out of your head um, and uh, in turn that can help you help others um but yeah i've just been um really grateful uh basically just with my healing and everything that's been happening um i'm definitely just like feeling the love and um the grace of god um and um i just um wanted to say like everyone thank you for all your prayers and um all your support um it's definitely something that has kept me going, knowing that there's so many people out there that are praying and helping and sending positive thoughts. And um, it's definitely something that when you are low, um, when you have love and support of others, then um, and encouragement of others, then um, it makes your fight stronger. And I've definitely been um, fighting a lot stronger because there's so many people out there that are showing me love. and. Um, I just thank everybody for that, and um, I just want to say have a great day. <laughs> Thanks.